Squad, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing our Modern Warfare 3 search and destroy rush routes. Today, we are doing rush routes on Quarry. For those of you new to the channel, this is the series where I go through my rush routes for Modern Warfare 3 search and destroy in custom games. And at the end of the video, I will go and show my routes in an actual lobby so you can see what they look like in real time. If that interests you, do me a favor and leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any future Rush Rod videos, as well as check the link in the description that has a link to the playlist of all the maps we have done so far. For Quarry, you're going to want a Karambit Knife Secondary, a Stun and a Frag Grenade, and of course, an Infantry Vest. Starting things off with Offense, we're going to swap to our knife and head towards A. We're going to use that Stun and Nade to challenge enemies pushing the site. So we're going to throw that Stun right towards the site and then cook that Nade and throw it on the Stun enemies or back behind that barrel. Now, once we do that, we're gonna push up and we're going in this building to push inside A and take control of the site. Or we can also, if we don't have the bomb and don't want to plant and want to push through, we can actually cut right and hop on top of the quarry and push over the top and either go in these windows to B or go under and flank. And then finally, third option, we can also, if you feel risky, climb all the way up to top third story, challenging enemies, pushing it, and then from there, pushing and flanking the spawn. Swap to your knife, we're gonna head towards B side, and we're gonna cook our nade right when we hit here, throw that nade over the top, and then throw that stun down there. We'll challenge enemies off this stun and push through to the spawn. You can also, if you want to, sneak right through and just go straight into the back power plant area, but just be careful of enemies that'll sit on top of that roof. If they're on top of that roof, odds are they will get you if you walk to the side. It's much safer to push under because you can usually get under them before they kill you. Uh, but if you do want to go over the top for the height advantage, just be careful of that roof. But uh, once you're in here, usually pretty safe to shoot them in the back and then push through to the spawn. As far as offense goes on this map, that's kind of pretty much it. There's not a whole lot of options. You go A and then you push multiple ways in the buildings that way, or you go B and kind of do the same sort of thing. The map revolves around pushing these two buildings on the offense side because those are the bomb site buildings. Uh, but if you're feeling risky and you're feeling stupid, you can risk this. So if you swap to your knife, hold the right side. We're going to jump, fall right down, push inside the building, challenge enemies and push right through. This route is not only extremely loud, but also risky if the enemies are over here spawn sniping you from this position. So be careful doing that, but uh, if they're actually not spawn sniping it, then pushing through that middle is a really quick way to get to the spawn and get a lot of kills. Swapping things over to defense, we're gonna push towards middle. We're gonna go through these doors. We're gonna immediately then throw our stun out towards the truck and then cook our nade and throw that nade right behind the truck. Fun fact, that nade actually won't blow up this truck. You actually can't blow up this truck. But if you throw that nade right behind the truck, you'll catch enemies running through here to go uh, for the A route that we showed on offense. But once you get that nade off, you'll be over here. You're gonna push inside this building and we're gonna go up top. Once we go up top, I like to walk around and then jump on these outside rocks and work my way all the way over and challenge enemy spawn sniping from the back. Once in here, we can then flank either B or backside A, depending on where the enemies have pushed. That was a lot of information, so let me just do it one more time and just real quick so you guys can see what it looks like fully. We push through these doors, we jump, throw the stun, cook the nade, then we'll push through up the ladder, and then we'll go and use these boxes to jump all the way around and push to the spawn. Swap to your knife, we're gonna push it towards B this time. You're gonna want that stun and nade. So when we get over here, we throw the stun right over the top. Then we're gonna throw that nade almost straight up in the air. We're gonna challenge this right here because that's right where the nade will land. That'll put heal enemies that are pushing out across here. And then all you have to worry about is the enemy on this head glitch. Once you're on the head glitch, you can push inside this building, clear it, and then jump out this window and flank the spawn. Swap to your knife, we're gonna head towards A. We're gonna hit this, throw the stun, cook the nade, just straight up the opposite of the normal A route on offense. So we'll push out the door and challenge the outside and work our way to the spawn. Pretty, pretty standard defense to spawn push. Swap to your knife. We're gonna head towards B once again, but this time we're gonna climb on top of the rocks. So we'll throw the stun and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop up on these sides. Careful of enemies pushing right here. We're just gonna walk on the outside of these rocks and we can either push into the building, challenge and then pop out the window and flank like on the previous B route, or like the previous mid route, we can just hop on these rocks and work away to the spawn that way. 
all right squad that is it those are my rush routes for Corey. i know there's really not that many of them but this map is so big and so open that most of the routes are kind of like a you push the same direction and then you kind of split off from there kind of thing with this map um, it's kind of a weird one but it is kind of a fun one to rush on uh, i do i do enjoy playing it so i hope these routes help you out thank you for watching the video leave a like if you do if you are new to the channel as well subscribe and join the squad and i will catch you all in the next one be sure to leave me a comment down below let me what map you want to see me do next Throw a nade, so throw a stun. Oh, it's brother. so loud! Kid, you're gonna like it. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Give me your gun. Can I have it? I'll take this one. Yes! Copy that. UAV is on station. Not my best nade. Go this way. Stab that guy. All right, go. You don't see me. Let's go. Hello. Anyone? Where to go? There he is. Hi. Yep, I know. You're mad. I'd be mad too. Nothing there. No one dropped in the corner. Really? That's that's where you decided to sit. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, we're just gonna like try and not die to the uh, guy on the roof this time. Yeah, is he on the roof again? Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll go for it. That's true. All we know is that Treyarch's making the game. That's it. Is all we know. We have no info on it yet. Oh uh, yeah, in the middle, 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 middle. All right, sir. Fuck it, we go for four. And he get assist. That sucks. Help. I'm gonna stun that guy. There's one there. Blow up. Nice MCW, buddy. Oh, shit. Seek, there's one on the way. In A, maybe? Could have gone outside spawn, but I feel like that's doubtful. Oh, oh he's in the back spawn. Oh god, there's another guy.
behind the A building, as far back left as you can go, behind a dumpster. <laughs> hmm. There's a pull-in yacht. Yeah, I see him. I needed five to graduate, so I was like, I just want to be done. I don't, I just want to be done, you know? So I was like, I'm just gonna finish it. Just gotta get used to balancing it. It is annoying every semester. I miss the ladder. I'm bad. There's one up top here. He doesn't see me though, so I'm just gonna make my way downtown. There's one more to my right. Unless that was my teammate shooting, but I thought there was one more over here. I think it was the teammate. I'm actually shocked at how good this Bass P is. I'd have people telling me it was good, but like this thing is like rival level good. It's very good. Which is kind of crazy to say, but it is a strong ass SMG. For being the worst SMG in Modern Warfare 2, or at least one of the worst, I'm pretty surprised by this turn of events out of this gun being this strong. Maybe the guy was over here because he just killed our teammate over here. There we go. 